the vast majority of building materials are fundamentally flat. It's simply easier to work in two dimensions. The question comes up, how do you take these fundamentally flat objects and build them into complex 3D structures? Now, there's varying ways to do this. You can stack individual layers. It's the basis of 3D printing or 2.5D design. You can also tape, glue, or screw small flat faces together to make complex structures. That's kind of how Pepecourt works. But one of the really great ways to work, and something I'm a fan of, is actually adding the third dimension by curving your flat pieces. And this works exceptionally well when you're dealing with sheet acrylics. So taking your flat sheet acrylic pieces and turning them into nice, sexy 3D pieces is going to be this quick tip. So we are in the kitchen because the first thing we're going to need is a source of heat. There's a lot of sources of heat, but I'm going to use my oven here. It's set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature works really well for your standard 1-8, 3 millimeters thick piece of acrylic. The next thing we're going to need is some gloves, and you have some options on these. You can get the kind of oven glove, the high temperature oven gloves. The only warning I will give you guys on that is while they're very simple to get, they tend to have patterns or bumps on them, and those patterns will tend to transfer into your plastic if you're pushing too hard. So I actually stay away from these guys. What I'm using is a pair of kind of sort of custom gloves, which actually are three pairs of gloves. I have a thin underlayer glove, I have a nice thick uh, leather driving glove, and then I have a rubberized outer glove, and I have put all three of those onto one another to give myself a nice good heat shield against what I'm going to be touching. So in the middle of my oven, I have an upside down cookie sheet just to give me a nice big flat surface, and I've covered it with a single layer of aluminum foil. Then all you need to do is with your oven preheated and cranking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you simply take your part and you drop it in there and you close it up. Now I start a timer for six minutes and that is the magical time that will allow these parts to soften up enough that you can form them without sticking to the actual cookie sheet. When the part comes out of the oven it's going to be very flexible and so you're going to need to have something to form it onto and so I have used a range of items. You can use cardboard, uh, tubes, you can make your own little items again with cardboard, or you can dig through your pots and pans and find something metal and smooth, which works the best. I'm going to be forming on the outside of this pot. Now that is our six minutes. You can see the part is very floppy. All you need to do is grab your form and drop your part on there and just hold it into place while it cools. Now, if you start feeling the heat coming through on your hands, for the maker's sake, let go. You can always put it back in the oven, heat it back up, and reshape it with better gloves. Again, you're dealing with a pretty hot piece of plastic here, so you gotta be careful. Now, what you can do is simply sit here and hold it in place for a couple minutes. It'll lock its form in and then set it down to cool naturally. That's actually better for the plastic. Or, if you're trying to churn through a lot of these things or you're just generally impatient, you can have a tub of cold water waiting so that when the part is basically holding itself into position, you can just drop it into the cold water and that'll lock it into place. And then all you got to do is reach in and pull this guy out. Now, I'm using tongs because the worst thing you ever want to do when working with something hot is get your gloves wet. And so that's how you go from a flat piece of acrylic to a not flat piece of acrylic. Now, just a, a quick note, you can actually combine multiple pieces with straight normal pieces to create even more complexity. So don't be afraid to mix and match different methodologies of adding depth to a part. Now with that, I'm Chris Amon Miles, the singular oddity here at Amon Raw Creations. I will remind you to go ahead and leave your questions down below if you have any quandaries about any tools, processes, or materials that I've mentioned here on YouTube or over on my Facebook page. Your question could be the basis of my next quick tip. And with that, I wish you the best of luck on all your projects. Ah, oh, I was upside down. Do 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 do.